Tony, thank you for uh, joining us this morning. It's uh, a special occasion for the ball players, but also uh, for yourself as a Hershey birthday. Yeah, I'm afraid so. 58 years young today. Uh, I don't know where 58 years have gone. Um, the birthdays just seem to come round faster and faster as you get older. Quite alarming, really, but such is life. Just tell us about uh, the session that's gone on this morning with the forward players and what they've been up to. It's been great today. Another fantastic turnout. Uh, it never ceases to surprise us just how many people turn up. Um, we've even had the, the, the added bonus today of uh, a little, uh, well it started off as a three piece uh, uh, acoustic guitar set and uh, I think a few others fancied themselves on uh, maracas and, and tambourine just trying to get in on the act. So uh, yeah, it went down very well, so with some entertaining little tunes from uh, yesterday and, uh, and today, so yeah, great. How did, how did that come together? Because it's not, it's not something we've seen on a regular basis. No, absolutely. I think it was Rob Thomas sort of said jokingly, I pay a little bit of guitar, and obviously he came along at Christmas and did a few tunes. Uh, and then a couple of the other lads, uh, Jimmy Hall, he got interested in it. And uh, George Thomas also got interested. And uh, basically, just uh, it just kind of grew from that, really. And even Stuart Murdoch got involved. Even really. Stuart Murdoch uh, got involved. I think he probably Stuart, who predates me by about ten years. Uh, I think he knew some of the older tunes uh, a lot better than me. He can probably remember some of the songs when they were originally uh, released. Well, again, it's good. And uh, what came out today was the another edition of uh, Back in the Past. Uh, yeah. Again, uh, fantastic work and memorabilia really, that players, former players, can take away with it whilst coming to these sessions. Yeah, they, they really love it. Um, I mean, I provide most of the content for it. Uh, Jake Parker um, puts the whole thing together. It takes quite a bit of time to do it, um, but the players really appreciate it. And as you quite rightly say, it gives them something uh, tangible to take away. And as I say, they really do look forward to receiving these, these quarterly newsletters. And we try and put as much interesting content in uh, as we can not only in the written word but also as you say the memorabilia the photographs etc so yeah it does work really well so it does and on the front cover there was a picture that wasn't planned or a look back but there was a picture of three of them where they're in the dressing room together and yeah the, uh, yeah that's that's, that's right it's, just, it's, it's 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 the three stooges really <laughs> um ben andrew uh, jimmy strachan unfortunately we we lost uh, the tail end of last uh, last year and um, also Frank Bowker and um, Phil Brown very kindly provided a retro photo in black and white of the, of the, of the, of the same three, uh, so long before even colour cameras were invented. Um, so obviously that's on the front cover, superimposed down at the bottom right hand side, so that's worked really well actually. Uh, today saw Andy Mango come down. He's obviously recently joined Joey Barber. Oh uh, yeah, staff. yeah. It's nice to see him down and a, a younger patient. So. Absolutely. I mean, Mangs is a great guy. I, mean, I knew him from when he was playing here first time round. Obviously, he was part of the promotion team that got us from the conference into into the football league back in uh, 2012. It would be now. Comes where did seven years ago? Um, but he's always great. You know, he's 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 so full of life from camaraderie and he'd do anything that you ever ask so I think he's he's really pleased to, to have joined and as you say he's definitely one of the one of the younger members now I think he's only 32 that said he's not the youngest but he's certainly in the in the younger element yes it's, it's kind of important that it's given focus on former players and maybe look at your older uh, generation all the players but also it's players maybe last season or two seasons ago that can always sign up for the, the four players absolutely there's no restriction at all if you played for Fleetwood Town uh, in whatever incarnation of the club, uh, in any era, uh, then yeah, you're very welcome to get in touch uh, with us. Uh, all the details are on the website. Uh, we have uh, contact email numbers and contact telephone numbers. Please, if anybody's watching this and if they're interested, please contact us and we will do the rest for you. And we'd be delighted to see any new members. Well, you're over 100 now, aren't there? And uh, next, just tell us a bit about how people get involved and when the next meeting will take place. The next meeting will obviously be the next um, Thursday in, in April. So I'll say if anybody is interested in coming along, uh, if they're not members already, please just turn up, announce who you are, and f um, Phil and Stuart and I will do the rest. It's just a matter of filling out a short membership application form. We enroll you on board. Uh, and as I say, we then do the rest and then you are a bona fide member of the uh, Fleetwood Town Former Players Association.